Hi, long range hunting. A quick update on our ballistic gel testing. Now, I was supposed to do this last weekend. Um, some unforeseen things happened and I wasn't able to get it done, but we have got a whole lot this weekend to bust out. Now, I've been remelting gel. I actually ordered a bunch of new stuff in order to expedite that. I ordered more molds instead of doing it one at a time. Now I can do multiples, makes it a little bit easier on me. I also got a couple shipments of ballistic gel in that I ordered, so I've got brand new blocks. So this weekend is going to be a little bit action packed as far as doing a bunch of these and then I'll just knock them out as I go and post them. Something else I ordered, it's gonna be cool because the plastic on these or when you're transporting them can sometimes cause marks and it can kind of make it a little bit harder to see as far as what's in the gel. Um, you can just get marks. I got a nice little heat gun here that they sell and you just basically run it over and it smooths it out. It's a pretty cool little tool for making sure that it looks really well and you can see inside and see what happened, especially that permanent wound cavity. So let's get down to the breakdown of what we're testing this weekend. And it, as you can tell, I got a lot. So starting largest, we have the 750 grain Amax Match from Hornady coming out of a 50 BMG. Next in line, we have a 300 Win Mag with 180 grain core locks, which I've already done. Some of these I haven't run through gel yet for the videos, and they'll be brand new. Some we've already done, but the testing's not done with them as far as showing a lot of that stuff that we've done so far has been starting with the closer velocity shots, higher velocity, close range. So I'm gonna stretch that out and start shooting at further distances and getting a lower impact velocity to show the performance difference. Now, our next one is a new one that I haven't run through gel. Field results, they're great. Um, and that's the Sierra Tipped Match Kings. Now we have one in a 308 with 175 grain TMK. And we also have it in 223 with a 69 grain TMK. Now this one I've already done, but it was a little bit different. I didn't do it on a deer test. I did it on a hostage headshot that was requested by some law enforcement snipers. And so I used what they're using, the Sierra Match Kings. I ended up also doing a uh, ELD match just to show comparison. But something they can happen with that type of bullet with a boat tail hollow point with a very small hole in that hollow point. So what can happen is what's called necking over. So that tip is going to fill with the material, whether it's clothing for a human or it's hide for an animal. And what can happen is it's gonna fill, it's gonna effectively turn into a full metal jacket and it can either pencil through, which it's just gonna blow right through without really causing any trauma. You can also have it tumble and or change directions. So not ideal. Is it something that happens all the time? No. Now, something you can do to make that reliable and get more expansion is drill a larger hole. A 1 16th inch drill bit is what I use. I drill down a little bit. It gives that reliable expansion and makes it a much better bullet. You do get a little bit loss of BC, but you get better terminal results. So, I got the request to do both side by side and show the comparison, so I'm gonna do that for you. I have drilled and non-drilled. I have the six Creedmoor, which I've already done tests with both the A-tip and the ELD match, but like I said with the other ones, I'm gonna be shooting it from a further distance to get those lower impact velocities. I've done mainly the high velocity stuff to start out with. And then we have 223 with a 70 grain VLD hunting bullet. So we have a whole barrage here of new stuff. Also, thank you to my good buddy Paul over at Best of the West Arizona, which sent me a couple shoulders. I, uh, I did some shoulder tests earlier where I used these. Now that was from Paul also, 
He sent me a couple more shoulders to continue this testing. I really appreciate the support, brother. Now, obviously, it's been hard to find certain stuff just with the political climate, trying to get hold of ammunition and everything. So a big thank you to the members. There's been several members who have sent in stuff to help me out testing the core locks, the tipped match kings, the Sierra match kings, the BLDs. You know, I even had a member a while back buy some gel. Paul sent in bones. Um, it's just, I appreciate everybody. That now I have more bullets on the way from a couple more guys. Um, just again, thank you guys. It, it makes it a lot easier as I don't take sponsors. So with friends and members helping out and sending stuff to me, it's really, it's aided my ability to get more testing done. So to everybody who's helped out over this entire process to allow me to do these videos, and get this data out there and help educate people and show the differences between bullets so people can be more effective in the field understanding what they're getting as far as performance. Thank you very much. Great group of people, you know, sportsmen, the type of examples that people should be in the hunting industry, whether you're a pro or you're not. So I'm gonna get off here and I got a lot to do to get ready for the testing this weekend. So I'll post up everything as I go. As always, everybody, be safe out there. Happy hunting. that hard people hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bell so you won't miss out on any future video and happy hunting